Hi, I'm Jeff Tanner of Aurora Audio. You can gather by the accent I'm English. I came to America in 1996 and many years ago I worked for the Rupert Neven Company in England, 14 and a bit years. So that's where a lot of my experience of Class A audio comes from. Now down here with the camera panning down is our Stinger single channel mic preamplifier. It's all Class A. It has transformers in and out. It has 80 dBs of gain with in 10, in 10 dB steps at the top. And you've got an additional 10 dBs of gain in the Penyon Giles fader. You've got um, phantom power and uh, phase switches at the top. You've got uh, so phantom power. You've got the EQ on and off. You've got the high pass filter 80 hertz. You've got a mid, the, the, the low frequency is 80 hertz. The mid is 400, 1600 and 3200 hertz. And uh, the high frequency is 12 kilohertz. Then a bit lower down, you have the Penny and Giles fader. You have a 60 dB range VU meter, which I've calibrated both in VU and in uh, DBFS's digital sound. At the front, you have a DI input and a parallel. Well, at the back, you have XLRs for the balance outputs for this side of the beast. Then over this side, I've added an extra DI with a view that the DI on this side is a very clean DI. And for guitarists that want a kind of grungy, distorted sound, they can use this right hand, well, left hand side where it has a 20 dB pad, it has a, an effects chain that you can turn on. That's the level control. And if you operate that, this is an overdrive. And it produces the most overdriven noises you ever want to hear. They're not my favorite, but I had to design it because people like that kind of thing. And this is a completely separate circuit path. So besides having parallels on the inputs that you can put a guitar in, take it off to a guitar amp, you've also got balanced and unbalanced outputs at the back for both circuit sides. You said step in the side. So the top one is the preamp side, balanced, unbalanced output, ground lift buttons, and this EQ, uh, the, the DI side, balance and unbalanced outputs on that and you notice there's no wall wall you plug the power directly into it there's no voltage selector switch automatically adjusts for the the voltage and it's an all steel construction it's built like the proverbial battleship so that's a introduction into the aurora stinger which is actually a single channel version of our gtq2 it's available now and it's $1,595.